Hi everyone, my name is Justin Pate, head trainer for Avery Denison North America. And in this video, what I'd like to do is give you a breakdown on why it's very important to become an Avery Denison CWI installer and give you all the details of what is on the test, which gives you the best odds to pass it. So with that, let's get to it. So let's begin by talking about the benefits of becoming a CWI installer. And there's three main benefits. First one is branding. So once you become a CWI installer, Avery Denison sends you a package, both physically and also online. So the physical package includes a t-shirt, a banner for your wrap shop, and also a certificate for your wall. You also get the Avery Denison CWI logo, and what you can do with that is put it on your business cards and your website. So what this does is instill confidence in your... Number two is you get put on Avery Denison's Find an Installer page. What that means is it's a great lead generator. So anyone who's a customer goes to Avery Denison's site, and let's say they Google your city. Well, if you're a CWI installer, you pop up, which means you get that job. Good stuff. And the third benefit of being a CWI installer is respect. It's widely known as one of the hardest tests to pass in the industry. So once you pass, you're part of a very elite club, which is great stuff. Now with that, why don't we get to the details of the test so you have a very clear idea of what to expect so you can pass it. To sign up for the CWI certification test, it's very simple. Go to this URL. Once you're on that page, be sure to pay attention to all the details. First and foremost, the price for the test isn't very expensive, which is really nice. And if you don't pass the first time, you get to take it again for free within a calendar year. Now, let's go into those details on the page. At the top of the page, it highly recommends that you should wrap at least 10 cars. These are cars that customers have paid for. If you've done that, your chance of passing a test goes up a lot. It's also highly recommended that you bring your own tools to the test. You always wrap best with the tools you work with day in and day out. If it doesn't, does provide basic tools for the certification test, but again, bring your own tools, and it runs from 8 to 12. Once you sign up for the CWI test, you're going to get an email from Avery Denison, and in that email is a PDF, and that PDF is your study guide. A study guide is for the written exam. Every CWI test begins with a written exam. It has 45 questions, and most of the questions are multiple choice, and some are fill in the blank. And all the answers to the questions in the written exam are in the study guide, and that study guide is really focused on product information, techniques, tools, and tips. The installation portion of the CWA test has four modules. First one is the hood, commercial style, the fender, color change style. The third is the door and the window perf, commercial style, and the last one is a cutting test. The hood, fender, and door are based on points, and the cutting test is pass or fail. So what I want to do right now is break down each one so you know what to expect. And let's begin with the hood. The hood is Avery Denison's 1105, with their 1360 DOL, so it's 3.3 mil thick, and as you can see, it's commercial. So what you have to do is you have to center that logo and make it straight. So you have to center it left to right and make it straight. So what we're trying to test right now is alignment, how you work with big panels, quality of finishing, and is it customer ready within 40 minutes. So you have 40 minutes to complete the hood, and with that, let's move to the fender. The second part of the Avery Denison certification test is the front fender. And as I said earlier, this is color change, which means I don't want to see the original color from the outside. So that means we're checking how far you wrap it inside the car and the quality of your corners, quality of finishing. Did you wrap all the way inside the wheel well? And because of this color change, you are allowed to take off or loosen hardware, which is great. So you have 55 minutes to finish the fender. And with that, let's go to the door. The third module is wrapping the door and the window perk. Here are the details. For the door portion, you have Avery Denison's 1105 again, and this is commercial style. So I'm going to lay it out on the door. And the idea right now is you have to make the logos straight, commercial style. And notice that we have a grid on this piece. Why we have a grid is we want to see how you work around a raised object. So to keep in mind that you cannot take the door handle off because we want to see how you work around this and not overstretch. That's why we have the grid. So I know a lot of you take door handles off today, but oftentimes you don't take off the antenna. So working around an antenna and working around a door handle is exactly the same. So we want to see those skills. Keep in mind that you have to wrap behind the cup, which means inlays. So we also see, want to see how you make inlays, and that's the same way you'd make it, let's say, on a bumper. So this door handle on the body tells us a lot. So that's what we're looking for with the door. We're looking for quality of finishing, how you tuck under the molding here, and now we get to the window perf. The window perforation is laminated. So what we're looking for is, do you have a wet look? How's the quality of finishing and the edges, which is great. The final module is the cutting test. And here's how it works. Basically, you take one piece of the color change film, put it on the window, put a second piece on top, and then the trainer draws five straight lines and three S shapes. What you have to do is you have to cut the top piece off cleanly so it doesn't tear, but not cut too deep so the bottom piece rips when you pull it off. 
And this, as I mentioned earlier, is pass or fail. So if you don't do it the first time, you get one more try. And if you do pass, well, you're a Denson CWI installer. And with that, I want to give you a few more details so you really have a good chance to pass. Let's get to those. The CWI test is judged by myself, John Duver, and Charlie Trio. And keep in mind that we don't judge how you wrap or what tools you use. You can use any tool, any technique. Essentially, you should see us as clients. When you're done with the module, say the hood, fender, or the door, we'll go around with you and we'll look at each aspect, the corners, edges, everything, and we'll say what's good and hopefully what's not bad. And then we add up the points. And if you get over a certain amount of points, you go into the next module. Essentially, would you let that section out of your shop? Would we as a customer pay for it or would you redo it? If you redo it, that means you don't pass. If you would let it out of your shop and we agree with you, then you pass. So in conclusion, for the CWI test, you have the written exam, which you get a study guide for. Then for the installation portion, you have the hood, commercial style, fender, color change style, door with a window perf, commercial style, and then you have the cutting test. So hopefully this overview gives you a really good insight on what to expect for the test and it helps you pass. And if you have any further questions, be sure to contact Avery Denison on their website. They'll be more than happy to help out. So with that, I hope you become a CWI installer and you're part of our rep family. Cheers.